This is a challenge. Kung makapakita kayo sa Biblia, the word Christian in English, or Christiano sa Tagalog, lumabas sa bibig ni Sokristo isang bises, e buong buwan kong sahod, isang buwan kong sahod, ibibigay ko. One word, word Christian in English, or Christiano sa Tagalog, lumabas sa bibig ni Sokristo, ibigay ko buong buwan, isang buwan sahod. Another thing, the word Christianity, huh? Christianity, English, Christianity, lumabas din sa bibig ni Sokristo, isang sahod ko rin, isang buwan, ibibigay ko rin. Word Christianity, tandaan, I challenge the word Christian, and next is the word Christianity, kung lumabas ito sa bibig ni Sokristo in any version of the Bible. Alright, thank you very much. Peace of Christ to all. Um, I don't speak the language, but I think I got the idea. I look at the text, at the comment, translate with the Google translation, etc. So I came with the conclusion that he is challenging, this Abdul, the Christians to find the word the Christian or Christianity in the Bible. Now, you know, first of all, this is very stupid, really. You know, this, uh, let, like, let, us, let us say, if I challenge the Muslim now to find me one place in the Quran, it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. Can you find it? No. Oh, the Quran, you know, you come with the conclusion saying that. So, when a Muslim, he speak and make a challenge, it's a, it, it, the Muslims, like, they are like children. You know, like, you see this guy, he looks like an adult. Uh, he have a gray beard. His beard is, uh, I like that. I like the Muslim beard in Asia, by the way. Um, I, I want to have a beard like this. Uh, but, uh, sadly, I cannot get one. Now, having a beard doesn't make you an eligible person. And this is a funny, stupid challenge. Regardless if the word Christian or Christianity is exist in the Bible, what that mean? Like honestly, what does that mean? Don't you think you're a child? Now, is the word Christian or Christianity is exist in the Bible? Yes, it exists. The stupid he's making he's making a challenge because he never read the Bible and he heard someone saying, Well, the word Christian isn't exist in the Bible, so let us make a challenge. This is how stupid they are. The same as the guy, his name uh, Rashid and the sand, the one who ran away from me, he was making a challenge, says can you show me why you worship someone other than the one who create? Can you show me where Jesus, he create one thing? And then we show him from the Quran that Jesus is a creator in the Quran. Because those stupid, not only they do not know their, our book, they don't know even their book. Those people, they are getting paid. They do job. It's better than, uh, you know, sleeping under the, the, the bridge. It's better to uh, get some money from Saudi Arabia. And you will see a Middle Eastern guy is walking around. And he, I, I, maybe I believe he's a Saudi. He looked like one. And this is where the money is coming from. But do those people know what Islam is about? No. So how come you challenge me about your religion when you do not know your religion? But before I answer them, I have an open challenge for all those Muslims, not only in the Philippines. Hmm? I want you to bring the Saudi guy next to you. Huh? I don't want you to debate me alone. I, I want you to bring 1,000 Saudi who speak perfect Arabic to debate me about your religion, which is called Islam. Can you find me one Muslim here there to do so? It's a challenge. So don't go and say, I challenge and I challenge. When we challenge you, you don't show up. We can make the debate in a very huge uh, internet uh, chat room where hundreds of people can attend from around the earth, not only from the Philippines. And we will record it and we will post it in YouTube and let everybody laugh, either at me or at you or at Muhammad. So who there? Who there? Now let us see. I hope I'm not wrong. I don't understand the language, but this is what I got. Please, those who speak the language, correct me if I'm wrong. He was challenging us to find the word Christian in the Bible, right? Now, is it exist in the Bible? Yes, it exists in many places. It's a stupid challenge. This is the book of Acts, and this is the word Christians here. 
the first time and the disciples were called Christians first in the city of Antakya. city of Antakya is the city which is in north of Syria this is the first time when the Christians was called the Christians and this is in the Bible but the Abdul he challenged us to find him one verse it says or it shows the word Christian or Christianity so the word Christianity is coming from here because they are Christians so they, this is, they believe in Christianity very easy all right so when a Muslim he make a challenge like we know we, there's tons of verses this there's not only one verse there's many verses but for me it's a child this you know uh, uh, you know to 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 say such, such a thing honestly it's a child is they are children's if a man suffer as a Christian let him not be ashamed do you see it Abdul first Peter 4 16 I am sure you this is not enough maybe I should show you more act 26 28 you know What's wrong with those people? Like, at least come to us with a challenge. And then later we'll show you, show me where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Yes, we can show you tons of verses. Actually, I challenge you where your prophet, he proved to us that his God is God. He cannot, but Jesus, he proved it. Jesus, he did miracle in this earth, proving who is he. What your God did, nothing. Your God Allah, he told Muhammad, read three times and squeeze him three times and still Muhammad cannot read. My God, the Messiah, the Lord of the Lord, the King of the Kings, the, the Lord of your prophet and his God Allah, he said to the dead man raised from death, he is walking a living person again. He said to the man who cannot walk, walk, and he walked again. According to your Quran, Jesus created from the mud the bird and the person who is called a prophet in Islam, suddenly he became a creator. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, by the permission of Allah, prove it. You just admitted that Jesus can make miracles, but now can you prove it by the permission of Allah or not? However, permission in Islam means nothing because Allah did not give me permission to expose him right now. Still, I can do it. So permission and ability is something different. You are not permitted in Islam to drink alcohol, but you can do it, right? However, in certain time, the Quran says that alcohol is a great drink and you can make a good money from it. It's a gift from Allah because the Quran is the book of contradiction. When Muhammad gets sick, he can't drink no more. He got jealous. He said, don't drink no more. So when a Muslim make a challenge, his challenge is funny and is stupid. However, I have my challenge open to the Abduls, all of them, specifically those who they are living in the Philippines, those with the long beard. Mashallah, brother. Mashallah. I like your beard. Your beard is convincing me that you are a scholar. Therefore, I challenge you to debate me. Now, in case you want to say to me, I don't know who you are. Well, I am the nightmare of Islam. My name is a Christian prince. I am an author of many books. One of them is called The Deception of Allah. If you want to learn about Islam, I advise you, I advise you to read my books. So, who is the Filipino who dare to debate me about Islam? Can you find me one? If you can me find me, if you can find me one Muslim Filipino to debate me about Islam, I will guarantee you many huris in the heaven of Allah, many virgins. Don't you want to get virgins, Muslims? Debate me, because Allah will reward you by virgins. The only God exists in the whole universe who reward his followers by vagina is the one is called Allah. The only God who reward his followers by naked boys is the one who called Allah. The only God who reward his followers by beer and whiskey and wine in heaven is the one is called Allah. It sounds like a pimp for me. Sound like Las Vegas for me. Oh, we should not talk about it. What happened in Vegas, stay in Vegas. What happened in Mecca, 
stay on Mecca or not anymore because we know it all so I'm waiting for the one who accept the challenge and shame on you if you don't Christ is Lord and the religion of the Abdul is for the fool I mean to that see you soon